What's good, y'all? It's the Maker Manager here checking in for another entry in my Bogus Life series, man. So I'm in a pretty good mood. Today marks the, the start of week seven of my bulk. Everything's going good. I'm starting to feel a lot bigger. I'm getting so much stronger. And today, I really get to test my strength because I'm back to my um, 9 to 11 rep range for my first workout of the week. Um, and it's all my compound movements. It's the hardest workout of the week. Um, and I really get to see, you know, how far my strengths come. Um, and actually, I might hit a PR today because I've never, I've already hit a PR a couple weeks ago because I never was able to do 225 on bench press with reverse grip more than six times. But I got I got it seven times a couple weeks ago. Today I tried that bitch for nine to 11. So we gonna see what happens, man. So strength is going up. I've been keeping the foods clean. I haven't really felt like, you know, eating out too much. So um, that's definitely benefiting me. And I feel good after my two rest days that I had. And you know, we just gonna get into the gym. We gonna get it, man. Got my Naruto gear on today. Stay true to yourself, man. Uh, I'm an anime head, so. There you go, the Uchiha tank top. Um, I got it from Wish, if you want to know. Just type that shit in Wish, like Uchiha tank top, uh, leaf head, man, if you want to get that. So, I'm about to get in the gym. I'm about to kill this shit. And let's get it going, man. Let's get these motherfucking gains, man. Damn, I almost forgot to tell y'all, man. So, you don't follow me on Instagram. You probably don't know. Uh, I'll put it on the screen right now, at Aesthetic by Nature, A-E-S-T-H-E-T-S-E-B-Y Nature. Um, I told people pretty much how I'm feeling and like what I want to do with this bulk is I want to make a huge like you know muscle mass transformation like the biggest that I possibly can you know within a certain time frame and that six months that I said I might do it might be a little bit longer it might be more like eight nine months man because I'm realizing you know <clears throat> to be at the level that I want to be at I gotta put some time in and like you know being lean is cool and all but if you don't have the mass to make you look like amazing, to make you look like someone that's like that people see and they're like, oh my god, like you know, I need to learn from him. I want to, I want to know what he does. Like, how can I achieve this? That's the type of shit I want to do, and you know, I'm gonna put the time in. I really want to, and I think I might go until like um I hit a certain weight as well. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe 200 because I've never been more than like 186, and um, my strength goals that I set before are becoming more and more realistic by the day. You're going to see that uh, probably today. Um, and I feel like, you know, I'm going to go beyond those strength goals. But also, I feel like I should probably go until I put on a good amount of muscle mass. And as long as I put it on nice and slow and not just like try to eat, eat, eat and pack it on, I think that it's going to be, you know, quality mass that I'm going to be building. Of course, it's going to be some fat and everything. But I'm trying to put on that size. I might go to 200, man. So we're going to see. Uh, might be a fat fuck, but don't worry. Cutting is nothing to me. Um, it's not really that hard. Give me three to four months. Dice done. All right, y'all. It's time for the gym. So today I hit, uh, I felt really good, man. I hit these PRs uh, pretty much. So what I did was 225 for nine reps for the first time on reverse grip bench. And it's funny because I posted on Instagram and I said, I remember <laughs> when I was hyped about being able to do 225 regular bench, you know, for 10 reps for the first time when the first time it felt light and then now fast forward a little bit and you know i'm sitting there doing reverse grip and i had to grind out the last rep or whatever but it was you know a solid nine reps okay and you know that's just progress right there and this full body program this shit is kicking my ass man and i love these these power pin lay rolls i do man um use the legs just a little bit if you need to and then just power that shit up with your back and i am sore from this all right you know, just because, you know, it's a power movement doesn't mean you're not going to be sore. If you get that contraction, you pull them elbows back. And if you do the drop sits the way that I do, where I like, uh, when I drop the weight, I like to hold it back there, you know, add up at my lower stomach for a second and then drop it. Man, you're going to be lit up the next day. Trust me. So I messed up <laughs> and I deleted like a lot of the videos on my memory card accident because I've been recording other stuff. Uh, so I had to flip in some video. Luckily, I, t I cut some videos before I deleted them on accident for Instagram so uh, you're not gonna see like my drop sets and stuff uh, for the most part uh, so right here I actually did pretty good this is actually almost the PR for me 145 on the overhead press no momentum going right down below my chin and everything and pushing it back up not using my legs I got nine reps I believe and that's without you know without using my legs at all um, and that shit hurt but man it's so great being able to see the progress on it I really take pride in my overhead press I'm trying to get that 200 plus I know I'm gonna be able to soon Give me just like, you know, probably like a month, maybe six weeks, one more cycle through my program. Um, and these supersets, these are kind of jumbled up. The clips are jumbled up a little bit. Um, so 
what I did was when I did the front squats right here, I think I got eight reps to two thirty. I was feeling, I was a little bit um, cautious with this one uh, because I didn't, I left my strap at home. Um, and I didn't want to blow, I didn't want to blow my fucking knee out, but I still pushed it as hard as I could, and I didn't feel any pain, so that was great. So it was uh, supposed to be super sad with these close grip bench press right here. Um, but what happened was I accidentally, I wasn't thinking about it and I went and did close grip bench press, um, after my first set of, you know, the overhead press. So I didn't get as many reps as I wanted to. So what I did was the rest of my shoulder sets, I did super set that with bicep curls, which I didn't get recorded. Uh, and, and then I went, I went to do legs, which is the last thing I did. So, you know, I was drained, but I was still in there pushing through it. Uh, you know, then I did the close grip bench again. So. Things are a little bit out of order, a little bit wacky or whatever, but still got things done. And I just wanted to explain that to you guys. And right here, you're seeing my drop set of my front squats. So what I do is a drop set and then a rest pause. And I pull my shorts up a little bit, man, so you can see the legs developing, man. I'm starting to get them tree trunks that I want. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about, you know, how my leg development is coming along. And with front squats, they kick your ass, I promise. Like, that is my main squat for a reason because I love this shit. Same thing with the reverse grip bench press. Is my main bench for a reason, you know, it's gonna boost your regular one, all right. So, uh, I believe that I have four minute muscles on this day, and I do sta standing cable crunches right now, I try to work my way up to be able to do the whole stack. So, I think I got like exactly like 40 or just like a couple reps over 40. For uh, is the setting is like 170, I think it's like half of that weight. Uh, so whatever half of 170 is, I'm probably doing the math right now, <laughs> but with these, focus on contracting and lengthening your core. Uh, that's definitely, that's the most important thing with these, because you'll see people do these, um, kneeling or even standing, it looks worse, but people just move their torso up and down, and I say this all the time, practice being able to, you know, contract your core and learn how to lengthen it, you know, uh, that's gonna help you, you know, hit your abs the most, and this shit burns, like, you wouldn't think that doing a standing crunch or a standing, like, a standing exercise like that is, you know, is hard, but it is if you do this shit right, okay, <clears throat> And I also got the four minute shrugs for my uh, four minute muscle for my shrugs recorded for you guys because I never really show my trap work. So I believe that personally, you know, you don't have to use super heavy weight to grow your traps. I've been growing my traps just fine doing Tabata's and four minute muscle. And what I realized is that with me, there might be something funky going on back there because if I go extremely, extremely heavy uh, with shrugs, I tend to the same thing happens. I pull something in my trap, like, um, like my mid to lower trap. So I'm just like, eh. So I've been sticking, I've been staying away from heavy weights for a long time, and my traps are still growing and they're getting stronger. And I get stronger every week with all of my, uh, you know, trap moves and stuff. So, you know, it's working. And you, I don't think you need heavy weights. And I'm gonna prove that to you guys. You know, holla at me in about five, six months, and we're gonna see what I look like. All right. So I'm gonna keep regressing. I think that this is the whole entire four minutes right here. I sped it up and everything, but I'm in there. I'm working. Remember, hit failure, 20 second rest. And go back at it, alright, so I believe that's the last thing I want to show you guys Sorry I got some of the clips deleted, but you know That's pretty much my workout, I'm progressing I'm stronger than ever, pretty much almost And, you know, we're gonna keep it going, alright Remember, focus life Get in the gym, challenge yourself Post-workout today Got my post-gym as usual Rainbow sherbet flavor <clears throat> And they had a pro gym Because I wanted to pick some up Because my mild flex right now, and they had a, um a holiday flavor. I don't know if it's gonna focus on there, but it's gingerbread cookie. It's not that bad. I'm not even gonna fake. It's got a like, little like little crumbles of, like gingerbread cookie in there. She's good. So I'm about to get that and get the breakfast, man. Alright man, so today was an excellent workout, man. Um definitely felt really strong. Like I remember I'm gonna put this on Instagram too. <laughs> I remember like a while back, I'll try to flip in the clip if I can of the first time that I bench pressed 225 for uh, for 10 reps and it wasn't really that hard. And today, it's funny because today, I hit 225 for nine reps like it wasn't really anything. And that just shows like progress right there, man. Like I'm pushing myself and I love, love, love this program. I love the gains that I'm getting. I'm getting stronger than I, like faster than I ever have. And excuse me, and I'm actually right now stronger in most of my lifts than I ever have. And um, I probably, like I said, my front squat's coming soon. Within the next month, expect a 300 pound front squat. Maybe 315, we're gonna see how it's feeling. Um, and I, today I forgot about a little strap, so I was being a little bit cautious with my squats. I was only one rep off for the 230, so everything is going well, man. I really, really, really enjoying it. Uh, so let me shut the fuck up and get to breakfast. Let me show you guys how you eat the grow. Damn, I was hungry as a bitch. I forgot to show you guys the fucking burrito, but so carb balanced tortilla, four eggs, some ham, 
a little bit of cheese, and about two servings of Cheerio, Honey Nut Cheerios, with vanilla almond milk, man. It's like grow. All right, man. I'm gonna try to hip you guys some game right now. All right, one of my pro surprise supplements, Myoplex Muscle Armors. Fruit Punch flavor is pretty good too. So. Pretty much this really helps me with my recovery. And right now, usually I only take one scoop a day, but right now I'm taking two because it has something in there called um, HMB. Um, and I'll probably make a video on that separately because it deserves its own video. And I really believe in this shit. A lot of people don't, but I do. Uh, it really helps with recovery and, you know, boosts muscle growth a lot. And this has, like, one of the two servings you need today. Um, and the protein powder that I usually get from uh, Myoplex as well, uh, their protein blend, it also has, you know, one serving HMB, 1.5 grams. Uh, but right now, Amazon was fucking up, and I didn't want to order it from Bodybuilding.com because I wanted my shit like the next day. So, two scoops of this shit. I just put it in like 40 fluid ounces of water. Usually, I put it in about 18 to 20, and this shit really helps me, helps me, uh, you know, recover, especially with these intense ass workouts, man. And I feel like it helps. Um, also, I just threw that shit on the ground. I feel like it helps, you know, boost like the the potential of like you know how much muscle you can actually build in like you know a certain period of time so uh we're gonna see man i like how it's working with me so far i've been taking it f uh, for quite a while i definitely know this recovery benefits from it so i highly recommend it all right man so i got some chicken thighs that i had cooked in the crock pot about eight ounces right there it's about 40 grams of protein and i got my my daily joy these motherfucking peanut butter jelly sandwiches with whole whole 100 whole wheat english thomas muffins Natural peanut butter, that's star sugar free strawberry preserves in that bitch. Motherfuckers, this is good, man. This is how you grow. Alright, man, so here's a tip to make sure that you're building, you know, as much muscle as you possibly can um, all around the clock and also so that, you know, while you're sleeping, you're not going to be, your, none of your muscles are going to be at risk. So, as you know, I'm a big proponent of protein blends. And as of right now, actually, all the three scoops that I take in a day are protein blends. Before, at, before workout, after workout, and also my last meal of the day, right before I go to bed, is a scoop of protein. It's a protein blend. So, I get that fast digesting whey, the medium digesting egg, and the slow digesting casein. So, pretty much the benefit is that, you know, while I'm sleeping, my body and my muscles have something to eat off of, you know. So, it's just like that slight advantage, you know, versus just going to sleep after maybe eating like, you know, maybe not eating at all or like, or not eating for like, you know, X amount of hours. It's a little difference now that makes a big difference in the long run because, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a big proponent of the little things now matter later. You know, that little extra boost um, is going to put you ahead of what you could have been, you know, if you weren't doing it. So always remember stuff like that. So what I recommend, take a protein blend or even if you if you just want to take a case of protein, if you're not big on blends, just go ahead and take a case of protein before you go to sleep. Um, it's going to have, your stomach is not going to be burning, you're not going to be hungry, and, you know, your body's going to be fed throughout the night. You don't got to worry about potentially losing any, any muscle or anything while you're asleep, all right? And if you want a suggestion for a protein blend, there's three that I'll give you. Number one, anybody can get it. It's easily accessible at Walmart. It's called Phase 8 Protein. The milk chocolate one's pretty good. I usually tell my clients to grab that just because um, it gets the job done. It's not, it's, I think it's like six different uh, proteins that are in there that digest at different speeds. And it's not my personal choice, uh, but I have used it in the past and it works fine and it works perfect for the person, average person trying to get in the gym and everything. And it's a little bit more cost effective. Um, so, but if you want to step your game up a little bit, uh, the other ones you can do that you can do are Pro Gem. Um, I don't like the 2.0 flavors. Stick to the original, the original series. You'll find that on Bibmo.com, and also um, EAS Myoplex Protein Blend um, with the E3 Fusion in there. Those are my two of choice. I usually take both of those at the same time. Would you want some camera time? My dog trying to get some camera time, yo. Say what's up, Penny. Say what's up. What's up? Huh? Alright y'all, so I actually fucking forgot. I was supposed to go be with my sister today. Uh, so day three, uh, she's actually doing four minute muscle today. Uh, she actually hit me up and I'm about to go meet her at Planet Fitness right now. It's probably like about 10 minutes away from me, so it's actually pretty close. And we're gonna get in there, I'm gonna kick her ass today, cause she ain't never done this shit. And I think that they're already a little bit sore and everything, so I'm gonna be shooting part of episode two um, of the To Lose 100 Pounds series, so I'll link that right here. If you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and watch episode one. Episode two will probably come sometime tomorrow night, all right? So I'm about to go do this, um, and I'm gonna holler at y'all afterwards. Clean and very simple, man. Ground turkey, eight ounces, two whole wheat tortillas, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of taco sauce, 
and an apple. Now my fish oil is right there. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna wash it down with this right here. These are actually pretty good, so try it out. Why don't you want a nice little calorie free beverage or whatever. And you know, that's one of my last meals. And my last meal today is just gonna be uh, about four ounces of the chicken thighs and probably like, you know, maybe like a piece of fruit with it again. Uh, I'm actually liking the fruit in my diet. I'm putting a lot more of it um, in there and everything. So uh, that's pretty much my day. I'm gonna get to editing because it's like, it's 12.42 a.m. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to get to editing on um, this and starting to edit episode two. So, if you haven't watched episode one yet, go ahead and go to my channel and watch episode one of, you know, the To Lose 100 Pounds series. Um, that workout went really good. I had to do a four-minute muscle. We'll talk about that in the video. Um, and other than that, man, bulk is still life, motherfucker. So, we growing out here. I'm so excited about today. I hit some really good, um, pretty much PRs for the most part. Uh, especially for bench press, that shit felt really good. Uh, so I'm excited to see where my strength is gonna go. I'm telling you, front squat 315, bench 315, overhead press 200 plus. It's coming, baby. It's fucking coming. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, man. Don't forget to like the video, man. Don't forget to share it. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm gonna holla at y'all, man. Make a manager out.